13, a molecule with the formula AB3 could have one of four different shapes. Give the shape and the hybridization of the central A atom for each. Okay, so it seems like we have to divvy this, this question up into four different shapes, right? Because they, they want us to give the shape and the hybridization of each shape, right? Or each Lewis structure, which is AB3. So I'm only allowed one A, that's the center, and I'm allowed three Bs around the atom. All right. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. Now, just know that on a tester quiz, you probably aren't going to be given your geometries. So this is probably going to have to be memorized, but I put it on the screen here just to show you where I'm getting these words from. Now, to find out what A, B, 3 is, the most simple that we can form with AB3 is to have just one A in the middle surrounded by the three Bs. So I say, okay, I have A in the middle. I have a B, a B, and a B. Now, since we don't really care about double bonds or triple bonds here, we're going to assume that it's all single bound. Okay. And this one has no lone pairs, right? I don't have any lone pairs around the A, for example. So that could be one possibility of AB3. An idea of this would be if I had BH3. BH3 has this idea around it. Now let's do the next one. We have A, it's gotta be Bs around, so that doesn't change. And I, I can put my, I have to put my, my single bonds in here, but now we're just going to be adding lone pairs. So maybe in this drawing, maybe I now have, I don't know, a lone pair. This is now completely different from this. This would be an example of NH3. Let's keep going. We have two out of the four. And if you noticed, we're just going to keep in, you know, increasing the number of lone pairs because I, I have to keep my three B's. So I can't add any B's. I can't add any A's. I can't add any B's. So now we're going to do A, B. Um, maybe let's do B and B just so that I have variety here. Here's my three B's. And now I'm going to add not one lone pair, but two lone pairs. All right, we're getting down to it. That's the third one. And now you probably know what the fourth one's going to be, where we have A in the middle surrounded by the, the three Bs, right? So maybe I'll do B, B, doesn't really matter, B. I just want to have room to put my electrons because now it's getting a little crowded. And I'll make those bonds. And now let's just throw in those electrons. So I have one, two, and now three pairs. That's the four. So I just drew the four shapes, and now let's just give the shape. So on here now, technically this should come from memory if this was on a test or quiz, but you say to yourself, okay, what is the geometry that has just the central atom surrounded by the three Bs? And that's this one right here. Do you see how in this case, we have the central atom surrounded by, in this case, the X's without any lone pairs. This is called trigonal planar. So that's the shape for the first one. Let's now just run through what this would be. So now I'm looking for the three. So this can't be it. This has two. I'm looking for three. This one's got four. Here it is. This one is the next one that has three. And that one is called trigonal pyramid. Now that's totally cool, but you might know it as trigonal pyramidal. Tomato, tomato. I like trigonal pyramidal. It's more well used than just trigonal pyramid, but you can just, you know, you could use trigonal pyramid or you could use trigonal pyramidal. It doesn't matter. Let's find the next three. This one's got two, so that's out. This one does not have three. This one's got four. Here it is. Here's the next shape. It's called T-shape. So that's this one. 
And last but not least, we end up here, which is also a T-shape. So that's fun. Right? Yeah, these all have the three. Okay. Now we just have to find the hybridization of the central atom. So I'm looking for the hybridization of A in all of these. Okay. Now this is where we come down to this information. Now just know that there's a total of five hybridizations. They range from SP all the way to SP3D2. But it doesn't matter which one you talk about, it all comes down to how many letters are in those hybridizations. So SP, you only have an S and a P, that's two letters. SP2, you have one S and two P's, that's why it's P squared. So that's a total of three letters. SP3, you have a total of four letters and the list keeps going on and on. So the number of letters always corresponds to the number of things. So if you have two letters, which is SP, you got two things going on around the atom. If you got three letters, you got three things going on around the atom. But what is classified as a thing? Well, one single bond is one thing. One whole double bond, even though you see two bonds, it's classified as one thing. One triple bond, even though you see three lines, it's still classified as one thing. And one lone pair of electrons. So now let's just go around and just say what's going on with that central atom. So for A, I see that I have a single bond. That's one thing. I see another single bond. That's two things. And another single bond. That's three things. No lone pairs here. So I have a total of three things. So three things, three letters. So this hybridization is SP2. So that one's done. Let's go to the next one. This guy, it's got a single bond, that's one thing. It's got another single bond, that's two things. It's got the third single bond, that's three things. And now I have the lone pair. That's four things. So four things, four letters, That's SP3. Okay, two out of the four now. You're probably getting the gist here. Let's go to this one. It's got the one single bond, that's one thing. The other single bond, that's two things. The other single bond, that's three things. Now I have two lone pairs. So now I have a total of one, two, three, four, five things. So five things, five letters, we're now in SP3D. Okay. And then we just got to do the last one. You could probably guess what it is. One thing for the one single bond. One thing for the other single bond. Three things. Four, five, and six things. Six things, six letters. SP3D2. And we are done. So there you go. Whew. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. And I'm so happy that, you know, you're using this channel and these videos to help you learn your classes. Check the channel out. At the moment, we have physics and math videos ranging from algebra to pre-calculus. And I think we have like three semesters of a physics. So go, go check. Go check the channel out, all right? I hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.